three, two, one. Jason Eichelberger here, prepcaltrack.com. I'm here with the ladies of J. Sarah High School. Uh, you see they have a plaque in hand, which means it was a, a successful day. Congratulations, ladies. Uh, please introduce yourselves. I'm Kayla Tasker. I'm Brie Garcia. I'm Brooke O'Brien. I'm Anastasia Stockgrove. I'm Ellen Johnson. I'm Georgia Jennerette. I'm Summer Wilson. Well, the ladies here today came in and, and they put forth a performance uh, that obviously shows that they are one of the best teams, not only in California, but in the United States. Um, ladies, if you could just take me through the mindset uh, of accomplishing what you were able to hear today. Obviously, you guys have some really, really big goals and this is a one big step in accomplishing that. What had to go right here today for you guys to put forth a performance um, of this magnitude to get ready for the state meet next week? Oh, <laughs> um, I think that for all of us, um, the big goal with us winning today is just a team effort, and that's kind of how we do races, and that's kind of also the reason why we're so successful is because our team is just so dynamic in everything that we do. So stepping on the line today, you know, we wanted to make sure that our spread was small. We wanted to make sure that um, everyone was putting their best foot forward, and when it got hard out there, that we wanted to do it for each other and not just for ourselves, and I think that team motivation is really what led us here today. You guys have a very unique dichotomy in which there are so many people that can contribute in so many different places. Uh, the depth of your team is obviously what makes you guys really, really good and really tough to beat. Just talk a little bit about being able to have a team that is comprised of such quality runners all the way down the lineup and, and that can have people step up and perform even if somebody has maybe an off day or so. Yeah, we have so many great girls, not only just the people that race today, but we have like Cameron and Annie and Amory and so many other people that can step in, and Lucy, everyone that can step in if we have like a rough day or if we really need someone to race instead of us, which just gives us um, some cushion. And But we all just try to really work for each other. There's no like, oh, I want to beat you, but if you're having a good day, we obviously want to push that person to go in front of us and to really um, push to the finish line. And we're always glad if someone's in front of us on our own team trying to win. Really exciting having all these girls have our Talk a little bit about running with high expectations. Uh, you guys come in in a unique situation where you're not only expected to win, but great times and great scores. And this is week in and week out. How do you balance not necessarily trying to live up to expectations, but executing and doing what you need to do in order to be successful and to build for where you want to be successful later in the season? Pressure, there's usually two ways to go about it. You either come to it and get like, nervous, or you can use it as energy in the race and kind of as a motive to do your best and not just for yourself but for the team because you don't want to let your team down. You try to make it to the next level. And for us, that's like the state and even beyond. Well, you guys have one more CIF race uh, next week up at Woodward Park, obviously, uh, looking to defend a state championship from last year. Uh, what is it you guys are going to build on from this particular performance and in your preparation throughout the week to come in order to get ready for that challenge and to have another uh, successful showing holding some more hardware next week? Um, I think that we just are going to you know, take this well, we're looking forward to seeing it. Uh, a lot of good things coming from this program. Seven CIF Southern Section Championship for the ladies of J. Sarah High School. Southern Section Division Four Champions for 2022. Ladies, congratulations and good luck next week at Woodward Park in Fresno. Thank you. Thank you so much.